MLB The Show is your home for postseason baseball. It's game four of the American League Division Series between the Houston Astros and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Hi again, everyone. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special postseason coverage of baseball on the show. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And Dan, lots of storylines here as we approach the start of game four. Well, because this is a five game series, this is an elimination game. I think that any time a team's season is on the line, they have to play like it. I think they'll be really aggressive and try to force the other team into some mistakes. If they play well, all of a sudden this series is all tied up and we'll have a game five to look forward to. The postseason is officially in full swing. Lineups and first pitch coming up next. Griffin Canning will be on the mound for game four. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be exciting. This is one of the top young pitchers in the game right now. He keeps getting better. He keeps learning. And if he continues at this pace, this guy has a chance to be Leading one of the more four, reliable please. pitchers in the game. So here is Jose Altuve. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. First pitch on its way. In there at the knees, strike one. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0 and 2 now. Your idea of working the count goes out the window. You're frustrated right now. Down 0-2. Got to find a way to grind. And he goes up the ladder on him, but he lays off 1-2. and two. Very mild temperatures as we begin tonight. 58 degrees here at first pitch. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an oar. The strikeout, and there's one gone. That strikeout was all about setting the hitter up with hard stuff. You can see the first three pitches are coming in fast, and then he slows it down on the fourth pitch, knowing the hitter is sort of conditioned for the hard stuff. Yet another way to upset a hitter's timing. In now, Miles Straw. As he'll take a look at ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. There's a fastball right down Broadway taken for a strike. And there is our officiating crew in this one, calling balls and strikes, Mr. Freddie Ferguson. Hey, D. Roy, you better be ready to swing, particularly at that low pitch. Freddie Ferguson, low ball umpire. Yeah, it makes it tough on the offense. I, I was a guy who liked the low ball, but that usually means those guys are susceptible to that slider in the dirt. You have to see the ball up, and this guy doesn't give you a chance. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Another 1 2 delivery. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. The main job of the number one and two headers is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. And that'll bring up Alex Bregman. A ball and no strikes. Will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Swung on and missed. 1 and 1. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel accuracy. Iglesias is there. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. And now the Angels get their first opportunity in this one. No score.
Josh James is on the mound and he'll look to wrap up this division series. What's your take on him Dan. Hey this guy has a four pitch repertoire right and those are a lot of nice options to have you can go hard soft you can go in and out and anytime you have four pitches if you can throw them for strikes you have the big advantage. Here's the shortstop now Jose Iglesias. they will leave things off here in the bottom half of the first. The shortstop. Jose. Here it comes. And it's the outside corner it's strike one. Oh, and this at bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0 and 2 now. Real ugly 0 1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout, knowing you have this guy way off balance. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. You find yourself down 0 2 in these situations. It's tough to check your swing right there. That was a nice job. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. And it's fouled away. The two two one more time. Now a change up locks him up as he looks at strike three called one away. Flat out locked him up with the changeup right there. Usually you're that trying for a swing and miss when you the throw that pitch man. in a two strike right count, right. but clearly he wasn't oh, looking right for it. So it's a backwards K for him. And next up will be Franklin Barreto. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. Behind 0 and 2 now. One out, nobody on. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0 2 count. And the slider gets him swinging to God. And with two gone that now, we'll look at our up to the minute playoff tree. And the question becomes will we be able to fill a spot in the ALCS wow. after the game, or will we need a game five to decide a winner in the series? Next to hit is Mike Trout trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Back to back strikeouts in the first right here. Pitcher is setting a tone pound in the zone. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. Back to back sliders in on the hands. He didn't handle it real well at all in the previous pitch, so why not come right back with it again? Better job of laying off that one, though. A swing and a ground ball to third. Knee high, he barehands it. He is out. Angels are gone in order, and this is still a nothing nothing ball game. Now at the plate here is Jordan Alvarez. He'll get us started in the top of the second. First pitch on its way. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. A ball and a strike.
good idea with the change, but it's two and one. Too high that time, and it's three and one. They know the threat this guy poses at the plate. I know it's a 3-1 in this situation right here, but I cannot believe for the life of me this pitcher is going to come anywhere near the middle of the zone. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Looked to me like he had the right idea with the swing on that pitch, and he just didn't get the bat through the zone in time. The pitch was away. He let it get deep, maybe trying to take it the other way, but it got too deep and was by him by the time his barrel could get in the correct position. And here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brantley. As he'll take a good look at a curveball that sweeps right across the zone in there for the first strike. Lifetime versus this pitcher. He's a 300 hitter, three for 10. He's taken him deep once. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Brentley is one of those prototypical left-handed bats that really excels against right-handed pitching. Sees the ball well coming from that side. Hit hard on the ground to second. And the Astros have their first hit of the contest. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. Here's Carlos Correa now. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. The 0 1 on its way. Fastball and he gets by him a swinging strike. And he misses there one and two. Brentley stands at first with one out. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent because if it's put in play, there's a good chance it's on the ground for a double play. And hey, a strikeout always works too. Standing in now, Kyle Tucker. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. The 1 0 is swung on, missed, and that's strike one. I'm going to need to see a better game plan out of the hitter right here. That ball was at his eyes. Up high, two and one now. From the belt, kicks and deals. In the dirt here. No advance here, but it's three and one now. No score here as we play inning number two. Grounded to the right. Barreto's got it. Throw in time and the side is retired. Astros leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Last half of the second set to go. And that'll bring up Anthony Rendon. The third baseman. Anthony Rendon. First offering. 0 and 1 the count.
Now the pitch. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. Hey, guys, that fastball just registered 97 miles an hour on a night like tonight where it's super cold out. If you don't get to head to that baseball right there and you get jammed, it's almost like getting stung by a pack of wasps. Got good. him to miss the breaking ball no there. Anthony Rendon is Just retired, good. leading off the bottom of the second. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. Justin Upton comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. I can't imagine in a hitter's meeting today, that's the pitch they want to attack. Plus velocity up and in. It's going to be too tough to get the barrel to that pitch today. The one two. Little too much bite on the slider that time, taken outside. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Wow, his stuff looks electric coming out of the gates in this one, guys. That's five batters the faced, four strikeouts. That's going to be a tough pace to keep up, but it looks like he has what it takes to work deep into this game. At the plate, Jared Walsh. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Right side, defense aligned perfectly. Reined in. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Angels go down one, two, three. We'll move to the third with no score. Top of the third set to get underway. And next will be the speedy catcher, Garrett Stubbs. Now the pitch. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Now a fastball. Oh, look below the knees, but he rings him up anyway, and there's one gone. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. At the plate now, Taylor Jones. Uh, so wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Nope. He tried to get that one airborne, but it's 1 and 2. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Two balls and two strikes now. Bases are empty, one man out. And a swing and a miss, and another punch out here. Six already, and that's out number two. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand, so they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. He was a strikeout victim to open up the ball game.
0 and 1 count and the pitch. Behind 0 and 2 now. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Astros go down one, two, three. Home half of the third coming up. No score. And that brings up Scott Shebler, seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. Let's we'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. The 1 0. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. One and one, here it comes. Now a curveball misses inside. Shebler even at two balls and two strikes. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball? Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. Lifted the other way to left center. Brentley has to run a ways before he gets there in time to record the out. How about that? that? The right fielder. Dexter. Now to the plate, here is Dexter Fowler. Fowler. Pitch on the way. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. Ball one. Yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you, when you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. Fowler behind a ball and two strikes. Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. A swing, and he pulls it down the line and deep. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. That is gone. So the bases are empty with two gone now, and the catcher, Max Stassi, will be the next to bat. Here's the first pitch. High in the air out to center field. Strong finds some space out there for the catch to retire the side. Angels are gone in order. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. And now in the box, Miles Straw. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. First pitch of the A.B. now. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? Oh, you have to love. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low scoring pitcher's duel for once. Count now a ball and a strike. And he popped him up, drifting back behind first. Barreto will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. 
well executed pitch there. And that'll bring up the former first rounder Alex Bregman. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low it's ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Count even now at 1 and 1. No runs, just one hit. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. Swung on and missed that strike two. Struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. I think he kind of trained the hitter's eyes in that at bat. What I mean is you'll find the first three pitches are all down around the knee, so as a hitter, he's probably looking down there again, and that's the perfect time to raise his sights and make a good pitch up. That'll bring up Jordan Alvarez, and he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball, 1-0. and comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The 1 0. He's a heater in there for a strike. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. He's under it, and that ends the inning. Nothing across here this half. On now to the bottom half of inning number four, and we are tied nothing nothing. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters and are able to make the in the middle innings of this game. Not shortstop. Here's the pitch. The 1 0. A swing and a miss, strike one. Angel shortstop behind in the count at a ball and two strikes. He'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And he struck him out. Great spot on that 2 2 fastball. You can't place it on the inside corner any better than that. And as a hitter, there's just not a whole lot you can do with that unless you're looking for it and time it just right. Love seeing a guy that can work the inside with his fastball. Stepping in now, Franklin Barreto. And he fouls this one off. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Goodness, 0 and 2 now. Man, that's another ugly swing right there. This team is just struggling so mightily to get on base. They've looked off balance all game. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Pretty impressive back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the inning. The What's field, even more important is now he gets to face the middle Five. of the order without anybody on Bro. base for them to drive in. Here's the center fielder Mike Trout as he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one 0 for one for him here in this one. Got him to go after that one and he's in a quick hold 0 and 2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. 
Here it comes, 0 and 2. It's a great job to lay off on that nasty slider right there. It's the toughest pitch. It was my toughest pitch to lay off of. I was always sitting fastball middle away, and when that slider came out, boy, did it look like a heater for a long time. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. Regardless of the result right here, to be down 0-2 and work it back to an even count, got to feel like it's a win for the offense. Lifted in the air to right field. Chasing after it is Tucker. This one's down. It's the first hit for the Angels, and it's going to be extra bases. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. That was a great job of driving that ball, extending his arms very well, was able to get it over the right fielder's head, one hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. And digging in next will be Anthony Rendon. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Runner in scoring position with two gone. The set and the 1 0. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Coming in is Tucker. He won't have a play, and this should finally get him on the board. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. What a frustrating inning from a pitcher standpoint, D. You get the first two out of the inning, the next guy doubles, and then you give up a two out base hit to drive in a run. Yeah, and you want to talk about on the complete flip side, firing up an offense. You see your two boys go down, two quick outs. You mix in a gapper right there. Double finds himself on second base, and he's able to come through. Next guy's able to come through with a big two out knock. Justin Upton will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. Rendon is off a of first with two away. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. From the stretch. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Fouled away. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Outside and a full count, three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. One in the inning here for the Angels on a couple of hits. Welcome back to Anaheim as we check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I discussed the Astros' offense with Houston's manager, and he told me, overall, he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. Thank you, Heidi. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Michael Brantley. And now the first pitch. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. Now a change up in on the hands that evens it at one and one.
No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Ball even at two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. First pitch of the A.B. now. Rip down the line. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. One out, nobody on. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there to try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. Into the box, Kyle Tucker. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. We'll have to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. Now the one and one pitch. Popped him up. Stasi waits on it. He handles it easily and the inning is over. Five innings have been no problem as he's got the shutout working. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Halos lead this one one to nothing. And now for the Angels, Jared Walsh. And leading up for the Angels, the first baseman. First delivery to him. High in the air out to center field. Strong will wait on it. And very quickly, one gone. The batter, Next, it'll be Scott Shebler. He flew hitter. out in his last day being. First pitch coming. Here it is. One run, two hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. The one two misses for the second ball. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. He's got a good feel for his off speed pitches second time through the order and we just saw three in a row. Three and two the count is full to the Angels DH. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. This is swung on and hit to Altuve at second. And that's the second out. Next to hit, Dexter Fowler, as he'll dig into the left handed batter's box. First offering. Here it comes, 1 0. Oh. Changeup laid off down around the shins. This at bat sets up really good right here, right? Hasn't seen a fastball yet, but now he gets to count at two balls and no strikes. He has to be looking for a fastball right here. And there's a swing and a miss, 2 and 1 now. Well, as demonstrated there, that's a tough pitch to do anything with. Oh, you think? 
If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. It looks so tempting to the hitter, but making contact on that pitch can be very tough. Two and two the count. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Fouled off. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ballgame, and that one ends the inning. Angels go down 1-2-3, but they hold a 1-0 lead. At the plate now is Garrett Stubbs. He'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non existent to date. Yeah, I think if I'm the hitting coach right here, Matty, I'm telling the offense to get aggressive. Just seems like we've been going too deep in counts, and this guy has got exploding stuff on the mound. So I would tell them get overly aggressive on a heater in the middle of the plate early. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Slow little roller to third right to him throw to first gets him so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth up next, to the next up for the Strohs Taylor Jones Taylor. struck out in his last trip to the plate first offering on its way and this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one bases are empty one man out. and a pitch in the dirt as he lays off it's one and one. And this one runs a little too far in ball two. Big swing but a little dribbler here to the right side of the mound. And there's out number two. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Jose Altuve no hits to this point. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. You got to love guys auto taking you oh oh if you're on the mound. You could steal that first strike and now you go to work just picking apart the corners. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Wow, this guy has been on top of it today, pushing the throttle and pulling it when he needs to. Protecting with two strikes went out of the zone that time but he stays alive. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they threw it right past him a swing and a miss at the gas and that ends the inning. One two three go the Astros. They trail this one one to nothing. Bottom of the inning now, and now it'll be the catcher, Max Stassi. The catcher, Max Stassi. First pitch on its way. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Wind up and the 0 1. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Down low, two balls and a strike. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. And it's fouled away. Ready with another 2 2. 
And he rings up another one, make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high four. fastball, a high Let's piece stop. of cheese Post swung play. at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. So now to the plate, Jose Iglesias. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. On the ground, softly towards second. Scooped up. On to first, and there were two down. Now back. So Second next to bat will be Franklin, Franklin Barreto. He struck out oh, swinging Barreto. in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one, mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown the first pitch strike to. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. Angels are gone in order, but they're on top one to nothing. Leading off for the Astros, the center fielder, number three. First pitch on the way. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Some stirring now in that angel bullpen as it'll be both a lefty and a righty that start to get loose. On its way is pitch number 75. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Don't expect this pitcher to throw something over the heart of the plate. He's going to have to stay on the corners right here. Huge spot in this game. Do not miss over the heart and get beat. Two balls and a strike now. To two and two now. That's an awesome 12 6 hook right there. Look at the depth, spin rate, nasty downward tilt on that pitch. Here now the 2 2 is looked at and the count moves full. Hey, throwing the ball great up into this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. Full count still. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Hit back up the middle. And that's through into center field, so the tying runs aboard to kick off the inning. So only the second hit he's given up tonight. Yeah, man, he's locked in and pretty dominant since the first. So as long as he can get back in that groove with the next batter, he's not going to worry too much about it. To the plate now, Alex Bregman. Nope. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1-0. These are the moments in the game that can sway it one way or another while you get a W or a loss right here. Lead off man on, heart of the order coming up. Guy out on the mound has got his work cut out for him. 2 0 now. Strong on at first, nobody out. 3 and 0 now. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. The 3 0. And he fouls this one off. And 
he missed with it. Ball four, so that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. Well, he loses him there, but that's just the first walk he's given up, along with a couple of hits, so his command has been pretty solid so far. On his way toward the mound now is skipper Joe Madden, and a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So as he departs, his fate is still up in the air. He could stand to win it. He could get a no decision. He could even be on the hook for the loss if both runners come around to score. So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. Jordan Alvarez will be his first test out of the bullpen and it'll be a tough test indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And he's way off balance with the swing there. Hey that's a huge set to tone pitch right there. To a great hitter you do not want to fall behind 1 0 and have him sitting all over a fastball or guessing what you throw next. You get ahead 0 1 and now the counts in your favor and you and your catcher can start doing some things. Nope. Lays off that time and it's 1 and 2. Big spot right here that's a great pitch to try and see if you could get him to fish outside the zone. He's still in the driver's seat right now and I'd expect something else to miss off the plate. Lays off to one two changeup and he's worked it back to two and two. Good eye to lay off the slider there and he works it to full three and two here. Wow this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 oh and two to work the count back to three and two and he's seen a lot of pitches too. This is swung on and missed and boy they took care of a key man there one away. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not a lot of good scoring opportunities and when they've had them like right now it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. Here's Michael Brantley as he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. A hit in two tries for him so far. All on the ground to first. Can this be two? To Iglesias for one. On the first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. One hit, one left. On now to the bottom of inning number seven. Angels are out in front, one to nothing. Ryan Stanek gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seventh. Now into the box, Mike Trout. His prior history in this matchup, he's gone three for eight. He also has one home run. Wow. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Bobby Cox always used to say, I'm going to put you in positions to be successful. Well against a modern day bullpen easier said than done. These guys are throwing flames from all arm angles. Swing and a miss on the slider and he's quickly behind nothing in two. Here comes the nothing in two pitch. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. The third baseman number six. In now is Anthony Rendon. Rendon. First offering to first. 
And there are two away now. Here's Justin Upton now. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. From the stretch. Hey, this could be a huge momentum swing for this team right here. Relief pitcher has come busting through the gates and done his job. Try and get this team back in the dugout where the offense can get rolling. And that misses one and one. One ball and two strikes to count. The one two misses ball two. Hey if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy that's right where you want to miss any lower and he'll probably make you pay for it. Here now the two two. Now Upton with a swing and a drive to deep left field. And that ball will stay fair and it's gone a home run. Justin Upton with the solo home run and the Angels are now out to a two to nothing lead. Yeah and you could see he just made a mistake he was cruising in the seventh getting the first two outs but then he offered up one that caught a little bit too much of the plate. This one got up and out of here ruining what looked like a good appearance out of the bullpen. Standing in now Jared Walsh and a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. Good luck with that pitch. That pitch is an absolute nightmare. Almost unhittable. Nasty downward action. High eight. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. Angel strike for one, and it comes on this solo home run. Seven complete here tonight, and the Angels are out on top now, two to nothing. Alex Claudio has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Leading off the inning, it'll be Carlos Correa, and they could use a spark from him here. This is the part of the game where I think we really start seeing what teams are made of, both in terms of battling back, showing some resiliency, and in terms of knowing how to play with the lead, locking down that W. He's set. Here it comes. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Hey this is a real pesky hitter right here as a pitcher you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. One out count here it is. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Barreto brings it in. Throw on to first in time so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Stepping up is Kyle Tucker popped into foul ground his last time up. Yeah we used to have a saying right here you would stride to the plate for this AB trying to chop wood not in today's game. You just want to get your bat plane on the same path of the ball can't continue to swing under those elevated heaters. One out nobody on. Skied in the air to straightaway left. On the move is Upton. He makes the running play. Two down. Up next to the Stepping in next, Garrett the Stubbs game. grounded out Here in is. his last at bat. Stubbs.
First pitch of the A.B. now. Just off the outside that time laid off for a ball. Sent on the ground out to second. Barreto fields cleanly. They'll whip this one to first in time and that ends the inning. Astros go down one two three. They're down two to nothing. Blake Taylor is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. And now and Scott Shebler over two Angels. with a fly ball and a ground and out on his hitter. line to this point. Scott. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one. Popped him up. Stubbs has a play. One away. So now here is Dexter Fowler. Oh for two for him to this point. Fowler. Set and the pitch. He's fallen behind now, three and one. That's a good job right there. You very rarely see pitchers double up where they go a pitch inside. Normally, they'll go back outside, but he followed that up with another pitch on the inside part of the plate. The three one. He swung on and missed, a full count now. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. Three two pitch hit in the air down the right field line on the run is Tucker but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Well that's what's so disappointing as a pitcher d -Row. you make a really good pitch and yet this guy's so big and so strong he's able to muscle it into right field for a base hit. Yeah you hand your batting gloves to the first base coach right there and you thank your lucky stars that's a nice A.B. Ready now is Max Stassi. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. First delivery to him. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Brantley going back. Still going back. Gone! So a two-run shot to left center as the Angels have now opened up a four-to-nothing lead. Well he turns on this thing and drives it out extending the lead here to four in the bottom of the eighth. I wouldn't be surprised if that keeps the closer in the bullpen for now. No need to bring him in a non save situation. Let him relax unless something happens at the top of the ninth okay, that warrants getting him up into the box now. Jose Iglesias a ball and no strikes. He's hitless in three at bats to this point.
Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Hey, the bullpen needs to step up in this situation. I got to believe the manager was hoping for way more than this. Ready with the 2 0 pitch. Still only one out in the inning. Iglesias in front, three and one. Now that's a really curious pitch selection. 3 0 and turned to the slider. You have to wonder if maybe he's lost the feel for his fastball. Three one. Four seam heater right down the middle. I would have thought he popped the clutch on that pitch. Now the three and two pitch he is swung on and missed. He got him. It's never easy to rebound after serving up a two run shot, but that at bat no was matter. a good Number indication eight. to me that Second he isn't man. letting it get to him. He Franklin. went right after him for oh, the strikeout. Right At the plate now, Franklin Barreto, as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Here it comes, 1 and 0. Here's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. On that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. Here's the pitch. Two out, nobody on. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. The 3-2 pitch is swung on and missed strike three. But the Angels get two, both on this two-run home run. Last chance coming up for the Astros. It's now 4 nothing Angels. Aaron Slagers comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one. And here comes the first baseman, Taylor Jones. Now here's the pitch. And now we see a right hander up and throwing in the Angel bullpen. Now the 1 0 is taken for ball two. Slagers is a reliever known for forcing contact. Not a huge strikeout guy most of the time, but he also doesn't issue a lot of free passes either. There's a couple of keys to being a good reliever. One, if you have great stuff and you strike everybody out, or like this guy, not afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. He has good stuff, not great stuff. He's not afraid to let his defense help him out and make some plays. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four, and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. 
Here's the second baseman Jose Altuve. Three at bats for him in this one. All ending with him going down on strikes. First offering. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Hey, hats off to the pitching staff right here. They've been able to hold a hot hitter in check in game four of this series. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Slow roller down the third baseline. And that's out number one. The bat. Stepping in once number again three. is Miles Straw, singled last time up. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield, he's going to wave them. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Oh. You know, in this situation, you almost have to pitch like there's no one on base. That run really doesn't mean anything with the lead they've got. The hitter is the guy that can turn this game on its head. The 1 0. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out, but meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. So stepping in is Alex Bregman and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. First offering. The 1 0. Now 2 and 0 with a great hitter up, a runner on third and two outs. This is not the spot where you want to be challenging a hitter like this. This is where you have to pitch very careful. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Men on third with two down. And here's a fastball taken too low, and he works the count to three and one. Got a good spot to be in right now. A pitcher's falling behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. Can't keep that one fair, and now the count's full. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Fouled away. Last strike now for Houston. Another one sent foul. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Popped up. Brings it in, and the Angels have battled back to knock this series up at two games apiece as this ball game is over. When you shut a team out four nothing, it kind of feels like you won like eight or ten to nothing. But this one was really never out of reach. Really good pitching and great defense to help them get the win. One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. Four nothing to score tonight. Los Angeles have evened up the series at two wins apiece. Griffin Canning earns the victory on the mound. Josh James is settled with a loss after giving up only one earned.
So that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com. Final lines.